<sighs> Hello, everybody. <sighs> and welcome back to the void. I'm player one. <laughs> Use me as an accordion. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and I'm player two. And welcome back to the world ends with. Uh, you! Uh, uh, there it is. <sighs> Last time, uh, we didn't really do much. But we did see a little bit more of the ramen rolls and learned that the proprietor of Shadow Ramen is, in fact, Mr. Mick Makoto. Yes, we unfortunately played his ego so badly, it started to feed on his body mass and turn him into an absolute douche waffle of a man. Yes. Oh yeah, we also ran into Kaya and Yuzuki. And, and they can't do anything, so they're playing tin. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty funny. Uh, let's get into it. I n no. Oh? Oh? Hey, come on, wait your turn. I just have a few quick questions. Do you mind? Wow, he comes right to the chase. Huh? About what? I'm here with a friend, so keep it short, okay? Why do you like the Roman here so much? Why? Uh, because it's the most popular spot in Shibuya. She likes it because it's popular? And it's fun, don't you think? But where else do they dance while they make your new- while they make your food? And that has what to do with Roman? Plus, they gave me this cool limited edition pin. How could you not like this place? But it's pretty new, right? How they? How did it get this? Uh, words. How did it get this big this fast? The prince, wrote, the prince wrote a post about it on his blog. I mean, he effed it. How can I resist food this fabulous? It's five thousand yen price tag. It's a bit painful, but would you pay fifty dollars for a bone of ribbon? I would not. But to be fair, they do do a whole song and dance with it. Plus, they're giving out this special limited time thing. And... I hope the ramen's at least half decent. But all that, I can see why it's a bit pricey. After this, I can tell my friends I ain't here. Ooh, I should snap a photo and mail, it, and mail them. I see. So, how's it taste? Good? Totally! Brett said it was great! For 50,000 yen, it must be! Just look at the photo! Yeah? A nice egg on a whole, whole meat thing? God damn, I'd eat that in a heartbeat. It's got a friggin' steak on it. So, where else do you go for all? Huh? The ramen? Um, I don't know. Noodles aren't really my thing. I barely ever eat ramen. Then what the hell are you doing here? Oh, that said, it'd be awesome to see, like, a dessert ramen. Dessert ramen? It exists. I know dessert pizza. Dessert ramen does exist. It's wacky. But it's alright sometimes. Yeah, like, all fruity and sweet. A tantalizing possibility. Well, thanks, it was inform that was informative. Okay, I'm gonna go eat then. Alright, let's head out. Uh, Mimi. Mean. Hey, good boy, no budding in line, kid. Not getting in anytime soon. Let's try it later. So now, so here's what is going on. We got to get Mimi's to give to Ramadan so he can make some ramen. Nice. So I just gotta figure out where we get the rest of it. Tell me who. 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 Tell me
Oi? 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 If I go with the cell phone designed by Cat, is there really any point in me sticking decorations on it? Uh, no, because that would look bomb. Let's get him the dessert. I need to outsell that sorry excuse for a ramen shop. I need something new. Something fresh. What would the kids look like? What's hip? They need dessert. dessert. Yes. That's it. Oh, perfect timing, boys. I'm trying out a new idea. Have a taste. Oh, it's got the cherry. Is that a is that like a wafer thingy in there? Yeah, that, with that's that's cherry, that's oranges. melon, that's I think those are tangerine slices actually. Now those bits of a ham. Yeah, and I see like a pineapple right next to the cherry. I can't tell if this would be disgusting or delicious. I I I wanna try it out of pure curiosity. Why is the wafer in there? Bit of extra crunch. I give you dessert ramen. Unreal. Mmm, very tasty. Yeah, this is pretty good. Kudos, Mystic. Still, it's missing something. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so too. These silly experiments won't solve anything. Maybe that slick down kid was right. All people in Shibuya care about are trends. Nobody cares about the taste. Hey, now. That's messed up. The ramen here is awesome and nobody notices. But people line up outside for that other place no matter how the food is. It's stupid. Welcome to capitalism, Neku. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah, more or less. But why are they all up on that place? They don't even like the food. It's a conversation piece. People are always scrounging for something to talk about. I came, I waited, I slept. Not necessarily in that order. Kinky. Anyway. They're after a story, not a meal. Ugh. They're sheep. Maybe all of Shibuya is. <laughs> Well, thanks anyway, boys. But I'm not giving up yet. I'll keep making ramen as long as I can. If you come up with any brilliant ideas, let me know. Alright, and with that, I know the solution to this puzzle. This, I was Wait, trying go, to say... Stop. Stop. Go back. I was trying to say puzzle and problem at the same time. What? Never mind, I thought that was like an alternatively dressed cheeky. No. No, that's that's a No, the lady walking by with the green hat. So continue. Prince, baby, you're killing me. Mick. Gotta obey that contract, too. Hmm? But hmm. Hey, it's those two. Sounds like trouble in paradise. Let's check it out. Tell me who you are. Why'd you change your blog entry? I told you. It's my blog. I write it. I feel you, Prince. I really do. But this is business. Your popularity is the real deal. I respect that. But the text you wrote is... limp. You won't sell me any noodles. We decided this when you signed the contract. I provide the text. But, Mick, then it's not my blog anymore. Plus, the ramen you serve there isn't that good. When I tasted the test batch, it was great, but... Look, I don't want to lie. In person or on my blog. I can't do that when my fans... Agey, agey, agey. Babe, Prince, it's fine. None of those people care how it tastes. Follow me, the whole game is about image. And whoever sells the most roots. Mick. I'll send you new text and some pics back tonight. You'll have them on your blog tomorrow, right? 
Savage. See ya. Aha. Exactly. Although it looks like the prince is tied up playing the puppet. But tired of playing the puppet. Hey, the noise have got him. <sighs> hmm. So they do. Let's kick some noise ass! Ugh, that beefy ramen makes me broil. All I want is something simple, like the ramen Sebastian used to make. Hey, uh, what? Man's got them big old boots. Excuse me while I start dropping shit on you. Tell me. How do you like cars? Do you notice we're on hard mode? No. Oh yeah! Although I did in fact just run over a kangaroo with a car, so... Defense boost. No. Nice. And a scarlet tie. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that usually a boss drop? Scarlet tie? It's, like, important thing. This isn't right. I can't lie to my public. I'll try talking to Mick one more time. I write my own block. I list my own thoughts, my own feelings. The ramen I'd actually like to eat. I miss the old stuff. Like the ramen Sebastian used to make. Just noodles and broth. Warm, simple ramen. I'd kill for a bowl of that now. Even the Prince of Union has his bones. I guess we all do. Don't know why he's so hung up on Tommy. <laughs> we all have our hang-ups. I don't get it. Of course you don't. What? Everyone has their own little internal world. A secret garden only they can enter. Each world follows its own internal, internal logic individually. I feel like I'm reading Kingdom Hearts lore. Same same director. That makes sense. In the logic of a world means nothing in another. Understanding other people is an odd necro is impossible. Yeah. Unless you're either an otherworldly entity such as myself, or you're just an actual sociopath with nothing else to do. Even if I could, I wouldn't want to see inside other people. They can keep their garden secret, thanks. Mm -hmm. And we got Tell me who you are. Thank you all for coming out today. We appreciate your patience. As an apology for keeping you waiting, help yourselves to one of these. Cat designed and hard to find. Today's your last chance to get these pins here, folks. Hmm? Hey, my phone responded. To those pins? Is that what you're hunting? Rare pins? Not quite. What I'm looking for isn't a thing. So... Cat designed these pins? Cat, the big graphic designer. Right? Yes and no. They do artwork, clothes, even furniture. And that's just the start. Photo, music, video. Cat's an uber multi talent. Shibuya is full of their billboard ads. Like the one in Toya, Re uh, Toya Records. Yup. Cat doesn't just make art, Cat is art. You're awfully knowledgeable. Are you a fan? Hell yes. Cat's all about enjoying every moment, all you've got. Do what you want, how you want, when you want. How cool is that? Wow, you sound devoted. That's why this pisses me off. He's using Cat's work to trick people. There's a lot of noise here. I got something for you. 
Romeo. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. Sorry. Continue. Yes. <laughs> That's it. You know, Shai. Hey, I've been waiting for you two. Take a taste. See what you think. That looks. Mmm. I'm getting hungry now. This is. Regular old ramen? Interesting. Well, here it comes. Hold it. Hold it. Please, let me try that. <sighs> Alright. Thank you. Now, to dig in. Amazing! Is it okay for ramen to taste this good? F this ramen! F it to high heaven! Uh, is that a compliment? Of course! F for f Fabulous! Still, this ramen is exceptional. Let me guess, a whole chicken in the soup? That and a hint of pork bone, seaweed and sardines? It all blends together so perfectly. Truly, the handiwork of a ramen artisan. This is the ramen Sebastian made. It's the same ramen I've always made. Haven't changed a thing. I just serve up the kind of ramen I want to eat. Among the flavors, I... I can taste the love you've put in this. Your love of ramen... No. Your love for ramen lovers. Are you... Is that you, Sebastian? Everybody hits rough pastures in life. So next time you're down, drop on by, and I'll fix you a bowl. Remember, the future is a clean slate, and you're the chalk. The future's a clean slate. Haha, <laughs> try a blank slate, Pops. Uh, considering this place will be gone in a month. What? And you, Prince, baby. You're my walking billboard. Can't have you eaten at the other guy's joint, can I? I've come to a decision, Mick. I won't work with you on this any longer. Babe, babe, calm down. You're talking crazy, Prince. I knew after tasting Sebastian's Robin again. I refuse to be a part of this. Not if it requires me to keep lying. And you've got it backwards, Mick. The store isn't good because people talk about it. It's the product, the taste. People talk about a store because it's good. There's love in Sebastian's soup. Love for the people eating it. That's the sort of ramen I want other people to know about. Ugh. Agey. Shibuya today is inundated with adventure. Oh. Shibuya today is inundated with adventure. And when all... And when, and when all anybody ever... And when all anybody ever offers is something different, you get hungry for the familiar. It's comforting. Love has always been the world's best secret ingredient. Gotta feel more than Mr. Kelly. <laughs> Love, huh? Guess I forgot that somewhere along the way. I'd harp on it, but it left and right, but those new experiments were all just me trying to get in on the show. I forgot the most important part. The smile on a satisfied customer when they're done eating. My job is making ramen that makes people happy. Popularity is no reason to change my soup. I've wasted all of this time. But you've still got your chalk. <laughs> right. I can cook a lot of ramen in one month. I'm sticking to my guts. Hopefully the guy's place will take off. I was thinking something different. May we want to hear it, Julia is searching, struggling for a, for a peek into their neighbors' worlds, and then those neighbors change. They get, and when those neighbors change, they get scared. 
They feel they have to change themselves, even what makes them who they are. Right. You don't want to change, but you don't want to be left behind either. Of course not. We can't get through life alone. We're part of a community. We have lives to live. We have to live. I'm not having a good day. We have to live by its rules. Let's continue. The more we connect with people, the trickier those rules get. Yeah. The more people hold you back. Screw living in a world choked by rules. I'm living free. I can. It's just easier on my own. Nobody else's baggage. Nobody else trying me down. People aren't meant to figure each other out. My thoughts exactly. I'd rather just get rid of them. Huh? What? Same as you, Neku. Those headphones you wear say it all. Yeah? So what? I don't like other people. I've got no use for them to get spoiled over. So don't come barging in on mine. My own world's already. Unless... Will you look at... Will you will, will you look at the time? And still no mission. It's probably too late now. Our little hunt will have to continue tomorrow, too. Huh? The signal's disappearing. But before, it was reacting to these pins, right? It's still picking mine up faintly. There was a whole bunch of them before. Maybe they added up to a strong signal. So why cats pin anyway? It's not what I'm looking for. I know that. Okay. Then what are you looking for? Well, put simply. I'm looking for what the tracker's tracking. Wow. I feel like I'm writing an essay at school again. What the... Oh, that's real helpful. What the hell is this kid after? And there you go. Roaming the streets. Chapter closed. Oh, uh, wait. Dang, we're only on day four. No, oh, I, I got a bad feeling of what those pins might be. Are they giving- are the Reapers somehow giving out pins to mark new players for later games? No, yeah, then why would we have Because we're currently in the game. Yes! I win! This isn't fair, Nick Group. Why did you- when did you suddenly become a tin pin expert? And why should I answer that? <laughs> Wait, no, do you get what's happening here? He's imitating Joshua. <laughs> He's doing the same sprite. How about because I'm asking you? Have you been secretly training? Maybe. Look, a win's a win. That means we'll wait another hour for the mission. Ugh, Naku cut me a little slack. Not happening. I won. Therefore, we wait. Ugh, fine. But this was a huge waste of time. Hello? This is getting to him. Keep it up, and he's bound to crack. Was I her? No, I was her. <clears throat> Today, 14 players were erased, sir. Leave it to a genius. At this rate, the game won't last the week. About that, sir. No missions have been issued in the last two days. None? None, sir. Nevertheless, players have been disappearing at a startling rate. And Minamimoto? AWOL. He broke off contact yesterday. Our game master's gone missing. His so called works of art have been sat around the UG. Plus, I suspect he's still in the area. Then let's leave him be for now. Meaning you won't require an inquiry. You don't. You won't require an inquiry into Yamato's activities. 
correct. He's not a social animal. Give the man space. Understood. As you wish. As you wish, Mr. K. Any other problems? Several Reapers were attacked on Route 5, sir. We suspect taboo noise. Taboo noise. How does this affect our manpower? The losses are within tolerances. Avara said about identifying and locating the predator. The predator. Perpetrator? Perpetrator. Words. Very good. So the noise explained the dwindling player count. Yes, sir. I'm looking into any correlation between the two incidents now. Perfect. I'd expect no less. I leave it to you, Kamishi. Understood, sir. Shio Miyamoto. The true genius, the youngest Reaper officer in history. Tactics, intel, willpower, decisiveness, performance. His numbers are just short of Mr. K's. Except for cooperation. A whopping zero. I'll admit he has talent, but his quirks are beyond control. What is he after? My analysis suggests... Your mother. How can you be busy, Mr. H? Your cafe is always empty. Fine, fine, sorry. Later. <sighs> Fifteen minutes and counting. Any minute now, Hill. Say, Mecca, could you do me one teensy favor? Bingo. Now, to beat him to the punch. If this is about the way, I'm not listening. Fine. How about a trade? Right on cue. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, 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 ah. Well, folks, everything just crumbled. <coughs> good now? Good. Yeah. Yeah, the creature just grabbed the controller again. Those pesky void bugs. Okay. On the right side, I have lunch. Answer my question, and I'll go with you. You've twisted my arm. Go on, shoot. What are you after? You're curious. If you don't feel like talking, you can wait. <laughs> it's nothing major. I'm going to jack Shibuya. Wait, what? Right. How about a real answer? That was the real answer. What? How do you jack a town? That's why I'm looking for the Shibuya River. What should be your river? My turn to ask a question. Do you really want do you really want a second chance? Huh? What's waiting for you in the RG? You're alone there, as here. You're, al yeah, you're as alone there as here. What's the difference? <laughs> you don't have to answer. I don't really care. Now let's get started. How's your how's your city? Hmm. It's coming from it's coming from out past Shibuya Q heads. That puts it all in the air. Udagawa. Oh right. He doesn't sit pretty well, Neko. Shibuya born and raised. My my. It's coming from Udagawa, right? Let's go. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, this is new. Someone's an eager beaver today. The Udagawa district. Same place I saw in your head. Along with me, lying dead on the ground. How'd I die? And who the hell are you? I might find my answers there. And we'll find those answers. Next time. I've been player one. And I've been player two. And I hope you join us again in the void. The boss 
Boss, why are you here and why do you have a vacuum? <laughs>